Playbaris Catalonia is a new genus and species of fossil hominoid primates. Hominoids include humans and their closest relatives, which are great apes and lesser apes. Great apes include chimpanzees, uh, bonobos, gorillas, and orangutans, while lesser apes or ilobarids include uh, gibbons and salmons. We have described this new genus based on a partial skeleton including uh, 70 bony elements, which include, among others, a quite complete cranium, also uh, most part of uh, an arm, and also several elements from other parts of the body. Uh, this gives us a lot of information, not only to infer the paleobiology of this organism, but also to infer its phylogenetic position within the evolutionary tree of the hominidae. This skeleton belongs to a female individual of small size, about four or five uh, kilograms, that inhabited a forested environment about 11.5 million years ago in what nowadays is the landfill of Camata, which is situated close to the town of Els Hostalets de Pierola in Catalonia, northeastern Iberian Peninsula. Pleiades is a late descendant of uh, a taxon that immediately precedes the last common ancestor of the two groups of extant hominoids, that is hominids or great apes and humans on the one hand and ilobarids or lesser apes on the other. And because of this, Pleiobarides gives us a lot of insight on how this last common ancestor of extant hominoids might have been. This is the cranial reconstruction of Pleiobarides, which we can see is quite similar in size to an extant ilobarid. Uh, until now, uh, many researchers thought that the last common ancestor of this group was relatively large-sized, like extant great apes, such as a chimpanzee or a horangutan. But the fact that not only in body size, but also in other characteristics, Pleiobarids is more similar to ilobarids, uh, makes us think that the last common ancestor, in several regards, would have been more ilobarid-like than we previously thought. And this also gives us a lot of insight about the origin of this group. Thanks to the microscopic marks left by food items on the surface of the teeth before the animal died, we can infer that it basically consumed soft and ripe fruit like uh, gibbons and most other extant hominids. The cranium of Pleiobates was from broken into several pieces which were crushed against each other. Therefore, all these fragments had to be digitally separated and repositioned so as to make the 3D reconstruction. Based on the postcranial adaptations of Pleiobates, we can infer that it basically moved above three branches by using uh, cautious climbing, but also to some extent we can also infer some degree of below branch suspensory adaptations. Thanks to the paleontological control that has been carried out in parallel to the building of the landfill of Kamata for more than 10 years, we have been able to recover a huge amount of fossils, including not only primate remains, but also remains from the rest of the fauna. Uh, these fossils give us a picture of a relatively close and humid forest where several primate species inhabited, including not only Pleiobates, but also Pyrolopithecus and others. In this sense, the landfill of Kamata constitutes an incredible window to show us how life was in this area about 12 million years ago, and because of this, we consider of utmost significance that the paleontological control is resumed there soon. In this sense, we are sure that in the near future, the landfill deserves us much more surprises.